Guys, deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Now, if we just go on paper talk and a lot of Italian papers and English papers, Ivan Glazidas, if you didn't know already, looks ever closer to moving ahead to moving to um, AC Milan. And to be honest, you just want to see it put to the back burner. Is it quite snaky, of course, but he doesn't owe us nothing as fans or as the club. He owes himself to have the career he wants and to look back in retirement and learn know that he's done everything he could have. For me, Ivan Glazidas is nothing but empty promises time and time again. Credit to credit where due this summer and probably was it last well probably last Jan when Sanye and Miss Lintak joined the club officially. He's pulled his finger out and he's delivered the the changes or some changes that he's been talking about. So credit where where due for my man. But um, yeah, other than that, it's it's just em empty promises. And for me. I don't really care about him going, he can leave if he wants, but we Arsenal, there's no denying it, we lose a position of influence at the table in regards to influencing decisions if, in regards to the, how the Premier League go about changes and things like that, and definitely in Europe, because you remember when we had the, if you remember them times there when there was, it weren't the G10 or something, but it was essentially something like that, Arsenal were prominent with that, first it was previous Arsenal Donnies, then it was eventually Gazidas, and obviously it's changed and that assembly thing's been that that um, group has been it was assembled and then dismantled, but it's still a position of influence in the same way you you used to have David Gill at United and Kenyon um, at Chelsea and and obviously there's new people in the roles now, but we lose a position of influence, so we'll have to gain that again. Hopefully, um, can Sanye just do both because he seems to be pretty good at his job. But yeah, all that looks set now is just to to dot the eyes and cross the and cross the T's for Gazidas, but um. Yeah, credit to him. Allegedly, he wants to bring Aaron Ramsey with him. Now, it's a bit of a weird move if Aaron Ramsey wants to do it. I mean, for historical reasons, you jump at the chance to play for AC Milan. I mean, it's a special club. I mean, historically, it's a big club. I don't need to tell you about AC Milan. Current day, it's not currently that. It's, it's, not, it's not that. They're, they're very behind the likes of Juventus and things like that. If he does move, I can't fault him because, like Gazidis, it's a chance to go and live, go and live in Milan, um, lovely city in Italy, lovely country, food, weather, cuisine, fashion, different lifestyle, all of these things uh, um point to him, and it's and it's a good thing. Again, it's it's yeah, the the chance to say that you lived in another country, AC Milan, it's a reputable club. If he says he was a young lad that um. Started off in Cardiff, played for Arsenal, won three FA Cups, and then went to Fingy, went and played for one of the biggest clubs in Italy. Historically, it's a it's a fairy tale thing, but in regards to titles, he always makes a big thing about leaving to win trophies and things like that. You must speak to Bell about playing abroad. Um, probably because your contract's running down, you could probably get to Barcelona, Madrid if they want you, and you and you'll probably tailor your wage demands, and you'll be nothing more than a squad player. But on the basis of winning trophies. These are the sort of clubs you need to be, you need to be at, or things like that, or even Juventus. If you're gonna join an Italian club, join these clubs where you want to win titles. You you mention titles all the time. No disrespect to AC Milan and things like that, but in regards to trophies and major honors, it's kind of wishful thinking if you think you're gonna join them and immediately compete for things. Because even in Europa League, we dumped them out. Like you helped dump them out. You put in a good performance. So. It's probably nothing more than than paper talk. Gazidas looks to be gone, but if he does create a double sweep for Ramsey, I mean, it's snaky, but it's 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 a it's a madness. He's also announced. Obviously, if you were paying attention in the international break, Ramsey's announced that he's got twins on the way. So I think he has one child already and two or one or two children already. Let's just say one. So the prospect of three kids. Um, obviously he's not that old himself. He's in his twenties, and I'm assuming his wife is. So it's a young family collectively. He's got a lot to think about because he's starting, he's a young family, he's got young kids, he needs to kind of, he's 27, he needs some stability, he needs to think about the next few years. If he's going to stay in Rome, it's going to be, for, I mean, Rome, Italy, Milan, it's going to be for an extended period of time. He needs to think about for the, at least the next three, four years, um, depending on how old his current child is, possibly schooling, learning the language, um, way of life and all of these things. And if I was him in his shoes... I'd actually be tempted to go and live in Milan and give my children that they might not remember it, but they've lived there, they've they possibly learned a language that can stick with them for life. But equally, I'd consider what I'm going to do very deeply because there's also the, um, the prospect of London. Him and obviously it's not the same as Cardiff. I don't know if Cardiff's a busy town or not or wherever he's from, but I'm assuming Ramsey's settled in London. He knows where he can get bites to eat and have entertainment and he's got his house. He probably just feels comfortable in it. So if he's got a young family and he's got stability already, 
possibly staying within London. We can't just assume that's an Arsenal. He was linked with Chelsea. Could be an opportunity. Or he could even move to United are linked with him. I don't think anybody really would take him like that, the fans. But um, just a basis of the free transfer, let's let's not cut talk any nonsense. He'd be an attractive proposition as a free transfer at some capacity in your squad. But he has a lot to consider. It's not just... It's not just him. It's not like if it was a, if it was a young sort of player. If it was within reason, let's just say Phil Foden, for example. He hasn't. Not that I know. He hasn't got. He's obviously got responsibilities, but he doesn't have a child. He ain't got a wife. He ain't got none of that. So he can just essentially pick himself up and take himself. Where footballers have a lot to consider, because you need to remember if he was to move to AC Milan and consider all the points I've just said, move to AC Milan. Let's just say the move don't work out um, for him on the football field. His wife and family are not really settled or feeling comfortable. He's going to have to uproot them again, which causes more cause for concern, more unsettling and things like that. Football is a mad journey. You can be living one year, you're living in London. The next minute, you're living in Ukraine. And then after that, you're in America. Then you're playing in China. It's a madness. So he's got a lot to consider. He's at the age now. He's had a lot of consistency at Arsenal. He's been there for how many years? Consistency in the sense that he's been at one club for how many years, people? Um, it's a lot to consider. Do you stay with this? Do you move somewhere where you can settle your family and, and, and have the most realistic chance of challenging for the honours you want to walk away with, possibly as a professional footballer when it's all done? Only he can answer these things. Um, so we'll see. For me, anyways, for what it's worth, the link to AC Milan is nothing more than a than just paper talk and people spinning stories because Gazidas likes to be there. And inevitably, if he does sign officially, Gazidas I'm referring to now, for AC Milan, you can imagine that there'll be a bag of Arsenal players every week linked with a move to AC Milan and a bag of AC Milan players linked to Arsenal because it's easy to conceive it. We, because of he, if, if Gazidas is there and people have already spoke with him, you can see how he can make up a rumour that we're going to utilise them contacts or that work previous working history to sign players. Again... I'm actually, in my head, I'm talking up this move more than I think, and I'm actually convincing myself he could move um, right in this video for you lot, recording this vid, but nothing more than paper talk for me. But we'll see, man, we'll see what they're saying. Only he can answer that. But for now, guys, deluded. Thank you for watching, man. All right, I'm out.